Hey guys, Wembley, Wembley. We are on our way to the playoff final. Listen, we are not at Wembley just yet. I'm a bit wary of whether we will get there or not. Gillingham are a very, very good. So just fix my little doors here. Wembley, Wembley, Gillingham are a very, very good side, and you can't underestimate them in any way. We're going to go with the exact same squad apart from one change. We're going to make. We're going to bring Matty Pearson into the team because Phil Edwards has picked up an injury. And I'm hoping they will both be back for the playoff final. If we get there. Um, so, let's get into the game now. We are playing our first game at home, which could be an advantage, could be a bit of a disadvantage. But, I mean, it leaves us to go to Gillingham knowing what we need to pull off. But whereas if they're behind now, they go home, the home crowd will push them to do it a lot better than they normally would. Ugh, come on. We can, we can do this. I know we are good enough to do this. I'm just, I've honestly got butterflies because I, I love, I would love to get Rochdale into League One, but I think I would have to leave depending on the money they give me. Because I'm not the type of person that would like to lose every single game because I've not got the players. <sighs> Go on, play him through, play him through. Go on again, go on Grimes. Sorry about the interruption there. My little brother is a total tool and came in whilst I was recording and just started shouting his mouth off like he does. I'm sorry if you missed a bit of the game there and I need to fix that F1 because every time I press it, I'm not going to do it now because I'm recording. Every time I press F1, that little menu comes up on the screen. I'm going to have to fix that. Sorry if you missed five ten minutes. It wasn't anything. It was basically just fast forwarding to the next attack. So that was that. At least didn't miss a goal. Oh, we need to get a goal. We can't can't draw at home. This is the games you need to win. Jesus, that was unlucky. These are the games you need to win when you're at home in the playoffs. We can't slip. What's he doing? What is he playing at? Jesus, who that's that's horrible. I can't believe that just happened. Nearly, nearly scored because of his stupid mistake. Oh Jesus, good save, good save. See, this isn't this isn't just a normal league game though. This is this is it. This is a big time for us to get into the the better leagues, and this is for me to move on. I, I need to get this to move this series forward and and get up in the division because. I don't particularly want to be playing again in League 2, uh, unless we are a top class team that are meant to win the league. What a poor ball. We're not playing the way we do. We're not playing the way we normally do. Um, we need to win this. Come on. I mean, it can't it can't be too hard. We're at home now. With a six-game winning streak, to lose the... Oh! I'm gobsmacked. That's twice, two fantastic goals in the last two games. And Danny Rose again with a free kick. Right in the bottom corner. Keeper had no chance. Not a chance he was saving that. Is it Danny Rose? I'm just calling him Danny. I don't even know if that's his name. But honestly, that is fantastic. Again, set pieces we've been a real threat from this season. Not just because he's good at free kicks, but even aerial ability. We have got some good strikers up there to get on the end of it. Come on, no, you can't look, no, don't concede like that. I mean, if they're going to concede, I mean, at least concede a good goal. He just dribbled through the whole team there. Right, let's make a change, come on. Christ, they've got a free kick. Great. And they scored. They scored. What was it like? I didn't even see it, I was making a change. <sighs> We have everyone in there by one player, for God's sake. One player standing on the edge and they can't deal with that. Deal with the... Co this, I can't believe they didn't that. That's, I'm going to bring on Donnelly for Bignall. Bignall's not even great. We're going to bring on Bobby Grant as well. Bring on Richie Jones for Kavana. Hopefully, this can do it. Jesus. Well... 
I mean, even if we do get put out, it's been a good run this season. I'll be looking to move half a league either way. If we don't get promoted and we manage to keep... Oh, my God. If we get promoted and we can keep our players, I might stay at Rochdale. But if we get promoted and I can't keep all of my players, I'll be gone. I'll We'll try and find another job in League One or the Championship. I did actually apply for the Middlesbrough and Doncaster jobs when they were available. But for, to be honest, I was close. They were saying how... How I was up there for the favourites, but it's not. You don't really want a League Two manager, really, do you? But after this season, I think I've proven my ability as a manager. Hopefully, hopefully, some club will take me on in League One or the bottom half of the Championship, such as Doncaster and Middlesbrough at the time. They were struggling. Oh, again, oh, they were struggling at the time, and that is the reason I think they might might have thought I I was the guy for the job because at the time I was doing very well with Rochdale for a club of this for the club of this size and how bad they actually meant to finish I've, I think I've done a fantastic job don't concede now for god's sake well done Leighton Leighton has been on top form this game go on another one again again the keeper has pulled off fantastic that's three corners third time lucky goal no it went behind I was lucky I was really lucky oh my god it's a fourth corner go on Grant chase it Nah, I think it's way end one all. I think we're gonna have to do the impossible at Gillingham. Let's get go here. What a bad pass. That game was just frustrating to to say the least. I don't think we were good enough in that game at all. Aggressive, you were not good enough. That is that is that is the, the basic message. I mean look at it. Three goal shots we had, they had we had one. They had we had two on target. They had seven. They had thirteen shots. They should have beaten us. And I'm going to say thanks, thank you, Rose, for getting that goal. Because without him, I think we Who knows? And we're going to have to go to Gillingham and pull off the impossible. The, the, to manage to beat them at their home crowd, in front of their home crowd, is going to be really difficult. So I'd like to, again, thank you for watching as well. Even if this has been a bit, a bit poor for the side. We've played 51 matches this season. Even though it has been a bit poor. I mean, look, we've got the lights here, the barn's a job, and we're Colchester as well. Colchester, League One. So I'll be applying for a few jobs. I'll probably apply for these jobs and delay them until uh, we get the result. And if we go promoted, then we can keep our players. So I'd like to thank you for watching. It'd be fantastic if you could like, comment, and favourite the video, and subscribe for more. And I hope you have a wonderful day.